What's up and welcome back to Sling and Lead. My name is Alan. I'm here today with JP. Today we're going to be doing some ballistics testing on this battle steel ceramic polyethylene ballistic panel. It's rated level four, so it's good up to 30 aught six. Let's see how it does. All right, first up, I'm going to shoot the Glock 17 Gen 4 9mm, and I'm stepping it up a little bit with range dynamics, 9mm, 158 grain. All right, dead on shot. Didn't do much damage at all, did it? No, no, no deformities. The back is nice and smooth. And it's pretty flat up here too. You can see the whole, the whole round is just, it just flattened out right there. All right, let's step it up a bit. All right guys, so up next we got, uh, I'm shooting Blazer 180 grain. Uh, full metal jackets out of my SIG P226. We definitely have more damage from that one, that's for sure. That went a little, in a little bit further. You can see the that ceramic right inside of this one. Yeah, this is the, pla the ceramic plating is starting to crack. It went through a couple layers of it. Uh, it's hard to see, but you can feel a slight bulge here in the back. Okay, still doing what it's supposed to. Still doing what it's supposed to. All right, next up, I've got the 357 Magnum. This is actually my very first gun at, at 21 years old. Going to be shooting 158 grain jacket at soft point. That had some significant damage there. Yeah, that did more than I thought it did, or was going to. Let's check out the back. The back, a little bit of bulging. Still no, still no pass through though. Still holding up. Up next we got uh, 45, I'm shooting Winchester 230 grain full metal jackets out of my Kimber custom two-tone. Oh. You hit the edge? Yeah, I hit the hit the left edge. We're going to take one more shot. We're going to try and center that up a little bit. Much better. Well, so far we've got the most damage for sure with that one right there. Yeah. And it, it clipped it right here on the edge and that, that passed through. So you can see how it impacted here and then you can see where it hit the plate right here. Yeah, you don't want to get shot there. No, no. But as far as for your, your more center shot goes, um, it stopped it. Got a little bit of bulging, not, nothing too crazy. Looking pretty good. You're going to live. All right, let's bring on the rifles. Your feelings might get hurt, but you're going to live. All right, up next we got... Uh, my AR-15, this is my personal build. I'm shooting 77 grain AAC uh, hollow points out of this. So, let's see what happens. Right in the center. Oh, 
looks like we've got some uh, some bulging down here at the bottom from the round but everything's still contained it yeah it hit here and you can feel it it's softer here it channeled its way down but there's no no tearing in the fabric so it didn't come out it captured the round all right got a, I got a good bulge right here in the back it's gonna hurt but you will live Next up is the Winchester 3030 model 94 and we're shooting 150 grain PowerPoint. I love the sights on rifles like that. Like my 22's got one. I think it hit into a pre-rolls wrap. Oh. That wasn't there though, was it? That one? That was your AR. That I think it's there. AR 45 9 mil 40 357 357 I think that's our our hole. I think that is it. I think you're right. I'm not seeing all the way through. Oh, got a nice bulge back here, but no pass through. Still safe. We got to get through this today. Yeah, we'll get through it. We will get through it. That didn't do it. That 12 gauge will. One day it's going to be a 50. One day it's going to be a 50. <laughs> One day. So, uh, this plate was actually my personal plate. Uh, I'm very happy to see that it's held up so far. We've done 9mm, 40, 45, 357, 556, your, your more common rounds. 30, 30, it's held up. But uh, we're going to go ahead and finish it off. See how many it takes to get through it. Good. I think the first one got through there though. Think so? I think so. I saw some I saw something kick out from the back of it. Funny, I don't see any new holes. I think put them in the same hole. Yeah, that's what I think happened with yours. You had to go into like that wasn't that definitely wasn't there before. No. And I don't I, I don't think we had this damage there before, did we? We had a bulge like this of a block, yes, but, but this wasn't the, where the sticker's coming off here. No, no, no. It was all so it was uh, all you smooth. must have put one here and one here there. Yeah. Then, so it still didn't get through. No, it still didn't get through. You can actually see a little bit of the rounds in there. piece right here of one. Oh, sorry. Still mm -hmm. holding on. Let's finish it off. Let's finish it off. Next up is the Remington 870 shotgun 12 gauge with these one ounce Sabo slugs. <laughs> Tape job wasn't good enough. Did it get through? No. No? Still hanging in there. Still hanging in there. That's pretty impressive. But you can see the round. Went in and down? No, you can see the whole thing in there. I don't know if you can get the camera. No, but I mean the trajectory. Was it? Did it go in and down or go in and out? That's, let's see, that was your shot from before, right? Yeah, or no, I think was this, this was it? the other one from 45. No, it hit right here. Yeah, yeah, that was you and here, and I guess the shotgun was here and out of the side here. You think? No, the round's in there. Okay. It's, it's just, I don't, we'll cut it open after, but you can see it. I don't know if you can see that right there. Yeah, I did see it. it kind of mushroomed up in there. Let me uh, see if I can get a shot on the camera. It's kind of dark in there, but I think I got, I think I got it. All right, let me see the back again. 
All right, back up again, the AR, except we're shooting Winchester M855, 62 grain, green tip. That was 10. Put them all right there. Yeah. yeah. We got stuff coming out of the bottom. Where's that coming from the back? Out the bottom. Okay. This old hole. We got a tear right there. I don't know if we went through or not. She is pretty messed up back there. I'll have to take it down and take it again. Oh, we went through. Finally got some penetration. Multiple pass-throughs. You can see them right here too. So you got like one, two, three, four, maybe five of those. The five, five, six green tip did it. Yep. It was already compromised. Oh yeah. Two. I mean, if we're only seeing five here, that means it caught five. That's it for this one. Looks like that plate held up really well. Thanks a lot, JP. Appreciate your help with this. Uh, make sure you take a look next week where we're going to shoot another one of these plates. So uh, come back and see us. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See ya.